Hello friends, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be beginning to add three numbers in a single number sentence. And we can totally do that because remember, when we add, we are just counting up all the items. So we could put three or more numbers in a single number sentence when we add. But how we're gonna be doing this today, we're gonna to be counting in different ways. One, we are going to be looking at our picture. Then we're going to be looking on a section of our number chart because this part of the number chart goes from 1 to 20. And then we might be thinking about our mathematicians out there that might be able to look at some of the numbers in our number sentence. So let's go ahead and get started, friends. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the number sentence first. And how we're going to do that is we are going to look at what's on each section, what's in each circle here. So as you can see, there are different colored fish. So let's take a look at the blue fish first. How many blue fish do we have? One, two, three, four. So that's going to be the first number in our number sentence. Now, how many yellow fish do we have? One, two, three, four. That's the next one. How many green fish do we have? One, two, three. And that's going to be the last number in our number sentence. So right now, our number sentence looks like this. Four plus four plus three equals... What are we going to put there? Well, let's start really basic. Let's start just by counting the pictures. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it looks like four plus four plus three equals eleven. But watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna count it in another way. So if I have four plus four plus three, if I wanna count it on my chart, I don't want to start counting at one and go to four just to talk about what's in my first section here. I already kind of want to put this four in my brain and I'm going to start there. So I'm going to go four and then I'm going to count four more. I'm going to make four more hops. One, two, three, four, because that's that four. And now we're on eight, but we're not done because we still have to add three more. One, two, three. Oh, and look, and we're on 11. So, so far we did it two ways. We counted the picture and then we counted on that number line there, which gave us 11 both times. Now, I want to know about my mathematicians out there. I wonder if some of you are saying, oh my goodness, I see an addition fact that I know super fast. I wonder if you know what one that is. We have four plus four plus three. I wonder if you found it. Let's see. Well, what did we call these? If you're adding two of the same number, they are called double facts. So basically, if you know the double fact to four plus four, some of my friends might. Four plus four is eight. You could already put that in your brain. Four plus four is eight. Then we only have to add three more on. Let's do it. If four plus four is eight and I want to add three more, one, two, three. It still got us to 11. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, why do I have another number sentence here? Well, Time for me to be a trickster. I switched our numbers. So now it's going to change things up a little bit. Let's take a look at how we want to write this number sentence. How many yellow fish do I have? One, two, three, four. How many green fish do we have? One, two, three. How many 
blue fish do we have? One, two, three, four. So I wonder, here's our number sentence now. Four plus three plus four. What is that now gonna be? Well, since I'm starting with the four, I'm gonna start with four on my chart. So let's start with the chart this time instead of our picture. Then I'm gonna add three more on. Let's really make it crazy. So here I'm gonna start with the four. I'm gonna add three more on. One, two, three. Ooh. Now I have to add four more on. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait a minute, we ended on 11 again. Just like that. All right, well, let's count our picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, 11. So wait a minute, we got 11 again. Boys and girls. The only thing that changed is how I wrote them in my number sentence. My numbers didn't change. The way I counted my numbers might have changed a little bit when I was counting my pictures, and it might have been a little bit different when I was counting on my number line, but look at what our answer came out to be both times, 11. So what is that saying? That's saying that I could make a switcheroo with the numbers that I'm adding and I'm still gonna get the same answer. Okay, boys and girls, hold tight. We're gonna do one more example. Okay, and we're back. So now my pictures changed, didn't they? I'm going from fish to cupcakes. So what we're gonna start with now, we're gonna go ahead and make our number sentence according to what our picture shows. So let's take a look. How many cupcakes do I have in my first section? One, two. How many do I have in my next section? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do I have in my last section? One, two, three, four, five, six. So right now, when I look at this number sentence, I have two plus eight plus six equals. So let's go ahead and start with our picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, that's a teenager number already. So now let's take a look at our number line here or part of our chart. So I wanna start with what my starting number is because I don't wanna go ahead and start counting like one, two. Remember, if we wanna make a little bit of a shortcut, that's the best way to do it. So my first number is two, I'm gonna start on two. Now I wanna hop eight. So here I go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, I'm on 10 now, but I'm not done because I still have to hop six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look, I got on 16 again. So we counted it twice and we still got 16. Okay, now, where's my mathematicians again? Last time we found a doubles fact. I wonder, can you find another fact that could make this a little bit easier? Hmm, I wonder if your eyes are watching, because I'm gonna tell you. Two and eight. Two and eight make 10. This is a way to make 10. So usually when we can find numbers put together to make the number 10, it's gonna be much easier to add another number on. So if two plus eight is 10, that could really save me some time. So I could already start on 10 when I wanna to go to my number line. 
So if I start on 10, that means I only have to hop six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there it is at 16. So sometimes, like I said before, it's really good to know some of your addition facts because that's really going to help you out and cut off some extra time. So you know what it's time for. It's time for Mrs. Gorski to be a trickster. So here we go. I'm going to switch this around. Okay, I switched my plates up a little bit. I still kept my first one there the same. How many do I have? One, two. Let's look at our next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what's on my last one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now my number sentence reads two plus six plus eight. So let's make a little switcheroo. We'll start with our number line now. So I'm starting with two, because that's my first number, two, and I'm gonna hop six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, ending on an eight this time. And now I have to go eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oh, there's that 16 again. So now let's count our pictures. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Look, we did it again. We got 16 again. So the only thing, remember boys and girls, is the numbers are just switching their spots in the number sentence. The numbers really aren't changing. We are still doing the same thing with the numbers. We are adding them all up. The only thing that we're gonna do is count them a little differently, but we are still getting to the same answer. Well, boys and girls, I really hope you liked our little lesson on adding three numbers. Like I say, I like for you to try and practice at home. And I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye, everybody.